Okay guys, so today I have a bit of a different video for you today. This one is um, going to be kind of how to breathe new life into an old laptop. Basically this is a HP ProBook 4510S. It uses an Intel Centrino and it runs on Windows Vista. Now, uh, this is a re it's relatively old, I mean it runs on Vista, but other than that it's a decent laptop, I mean it would get work done. It's, I'm pretty sure it's simply just used for um, sending emails and stuff like that. It, uh, someone who worked with my father gave it to him and said can you do something with it, just make it run a little bit better. And my father handed it off to me and just told me to deal with it. Um, so, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today. Apologies if you hear me drinking something in the background, I'm drinking tea. But, basically what, I, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using my Windows 10 USB here. And I, I've bought a key. And I'm just going to install Windows 10 on it, get every, yeah, all that set up. And this will be like a short video that I'm pretty sure some people will quite enjoy. Press escape when you turn it on. Enter the start menu. And now I want to press F9 to enter the boot device options because this is a, this is, um, why are you not, oh for the love of god, of course you're just not working. But yeah, because this is like a HP and HP and Dell, all those kind of uh, producers or system builders or whatever you want to call them. Um, basically, the BIOS are locked, so you need like uh, an administration kind of uh, key to unlock it. Hard drive's loud enough in this as well. There we go. We want USB hard drive. And that should start to load now. I'm also pretty sure this is a uh, a 5400 RPM drive because normally we'd already have the loading symbol coming up by now. It should basically turn on instantly. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, yeah, I've never been one for laptops. I mean. The only time I think I'd ever use a laptop is if someone came to me and wanted me to review one and if it was a gaming laptop then I'd probably give it a shot but I mean I wouldn't spend all that money on one considering I spent about 1100 on my own system my own desktop system and I mean even then that's not amazing I mean it's only a 1060 but uh, for a laptop I mean you can spend so much and just not get the same kind of enjoyment out of it I think I might just grab a mouse just to be on the safe side. Just so I'm not floundering around there with a trackpad. There we go. Right now I'm gonna put this in and come back to you in a minute, just because I don't want you to see my Windows 10 key. Okay, so I have the Windows key put in. Accept the uh, license terms. Next. Custom install. All right. Um. Delete this partition. Yes. Delete that partition. Yes. Next. There we go. So everything's formatted itself. Anything that was on this before is gone. So not only are we going to be reinstalling Windows on this like we are right now, we are also going to put. Um, a Microsoft Office suite on it, and that should be quite nice. Um, it's quite cool how you can see my screens in the background. I like that. I I haven't really been looking to see the way you're facing. I just know that you're looking at the at the the laptop. But um, 
Yeah, so this is kind of used in work. So, uh, it's going to be very, like, I'm not going to be doing anything too creative on it. I mean, I uh, put Microsoft Office on it, Chrome, um, that's basically it. Put the full Office Suite on it. Um, and that's basically it. I mean, I'm not going to be doing too much customization. Okay, so the Windows installation is just about done. It's restarted once. Um, I hope I don't need to change it back from booting off the USB. And if I do, well, then I'll just restart the, the laptop and change that. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, well, um, Windows is installed, by that I mean the entire menu stuff is gone, and last thing I saw was getting things ready, it restarted once again, and I'm no longer seeing getting things ready, so I would imagine this is just loading Windows in now. Hopefully, it goes to me actually being able to set it up soon, because I'm looking forward to just getting it installed so I can move on to the next thing I have to do work on. <coughs> As well as finishing some of my CVs, I need to do that too. As you can see, the resolution is terrible on this. But again, it is an old laptop. Okay, so that's uh, Windows installed, and now we just have to um, kind of get everything working. So, instantly, 
what we're gonna do is we're going to go Google Chrome. Of course, it's gonna use Bing, and it's gonna give me an ad for Microsoft Edge. I think my mother's talking to a cat. She she does that a lot. I can just hear her talking like kind of baby talk, and she's either talking to the dog or a cat. Yes. Okay, so there's that. Close you off. Now what I want to do is one pin from taskbar. This laptop is incredibly, incredibly slow. Like stupidly, stupidly slow. Okay, so now with that done, Chrome installed, I can go to um, setup.office.com, basically so I can download uh, Microsoft Office. Only one T. I think I actually need to. I need to uh, sign in with the Microsoft account, and I don't know this woman's information, and I'm not going to start asking her for her passwords and all that, just because not everyone's interested in giving me such luxuries. But um, I might have to get her to do this herself. Hopefully, she's able to do that. That's about it. But other than that, I mean, it is running relatively well. It's it's slow to um. <clears throat> it's slow to load stuff in, but I mean, it's two gigs of RAM and a dual core, two point one gigahertz processor. It's nothing fancy at all. There's everything like that. Yeah, thirteen sixty six by seven sixty eight resolution. It's um, so it's an interesting resolution, all right. But I mean, other than that, this should bring a little bit of life to the system. I mean, it's never going to be rocket fast or anything like that. But this is going to let it kind of keep up with more modern laptops and all that. Um, I think Windows ten is just better for nowadays, anyway. You don't have to worry about like any kind of um, lack of support or whatever, you know. It's just nice to be on trend with what's going on. Actually, before I do anything, I do want to... Go for Windows Defender. Pin that to the taskbar. There we go. 
But yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. It's looking pretty nice. Just a shame about this. It would have been nice to be able to just install without having to input any kind of uh, accounts or whatever. But you know, Microsoft always trying to get you to sign up for something. But um, that's basically it. So I guess I can shut this down. And well, that's basically it. I mean, reinstalling Windows is essentially the easiest way to get something to run completely well again. I formatted the hard drive, starting brand new. And that's really it. So um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.